Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Your Time to Shine, a radio show designed to help you explore your own divine gifts. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining me this evening. I hope today finds you well in this season of retrograde and uh, communication and computer issues. Oh, my goodness. Yes, having all of those right now. <laughs> so I hope that you are navigating all of this very well and navigating all of the energies that go along with it after having a full moon and now going into retrograde, all kinds of fun stuff going on in the universe right now. So it was, it's been very interesting, um, the things that I have been talking to people about and um, the number one thing that keeps coming up when I'm having conversations with people is receiving. And if you have watched my last couple shows, you know that my word for 2023 is to receive or receiving. So I thought, well, I'm going to pull some cards uh, tonight for all of you out there listening. And lo and behold, guess what they were? Yep, you're right, receiving. <laughs> so I am taking that as a message that I need to be talking about receiving tonight. Um, so one thing about receiving, um, the card that I pulled, I really, um, I really like. Um, so I actually, I pulled three of them for you guys. Um, and the first one is, I am open and receptive to new adventures of income. I now receive my good from expected and unexpected sources. I am, I am an unlimited being accepting on unlimited sources in an unlimited way. I am blessed beyond my fondest dreams. The other card I pulled for you all is I love and approve of myself, which, you know, again, it has to do with receiving. You have to be able to love and approve and receive for yourself, from yourself. Um, so that's all part of it, too. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough as I am, and I speak for myself, and I ask for what I want. I claim my power. And then the third one I pulled was adventure. I will ride the tide. So it's about that receiving, but then also in your ask, right? Looking to the universe and trusting in the universe. So, you know, with receiving, um, so many of us out there are givers and that's you know, that's the way of the light worker, the people who are out there to help. They give and they give and they give, and it's really hard for them to receive. But if you're blocking your receiving, right, you're blocking it from all different angles. You're, you are blocking it from more money coming into your life, possibly love coming into your life, right? That new job, that new house, that new car, whatever, whatever the receiving is that looks like for you, if you are blocking receiving, it goes way beyond, you know, just the one thing that you're asking for. And so it's about asking the universe, this is something I need, right? And asking in a need, because if you ask for want, want is about lack, and so you don't want to ask, you know, I want this, right? Because it's saying, oh, look, Julie wants this. Well, let's just keep giving her that, which is a lack thereof, right? I want more money to come to me. Oh, well, let's just keep her wanting and giving her that lack, right? So asking for the need because the universe provides us with everything that we need in life. So it's, I need to bring in more financial success and stability for my family so we can feel relief when we pay our bills, right? And then being open to receive that. So if you get a random check in the mail, right? Get excited about it. Receive it fully from your heart and feeling it from your heart because that's where it comes from. It starts in your heart. And 
then it goes out from there. So get out of your head and into your heart and get into that space of receiving, receiving compliments, right? Receiving a helping hand, receiving money, right? Whatever that receiving is, being open to it and saying, yes, please, more of this. Because as we balance our giving and our receiving, then we're more balanced in our life. We're more balanced in our world, right? And things come to us with come to us more easily. If you are constantly giving, you're going to get tapped out. You're going to get tired. You're, you know, you're going to empty that tank. And so by receiving, you're, you're bringing that back in and you're filling your tank. So all kinds of reasons, right, to look at receiving and being able to accept the receiving, right? Even if it's that friend, my husband and I were talking tonight at dinner and he had just come back from a trip and his friend said, hey, let me help you unload the car. He's like, oh, no, I got it. And I'm like, honey, do you realize that you're blocking receiving? He's like, oh, I didn't think about that. And the other thing with that is, you know, when you block somebody from receiving, especially for someone who's a giver, right? That doesn't feel good on the other end. This person is giving and you're blocking them from the one joy that they're doing, which is giving. So be open to receiving, be open to what the universe is bringing forth for you and be open to it all and receive it all. Just bring it in and just envelope it in love and gratitude and say, thank you. All right. Receiving, not always easy, <laughs> but the more you do it, the easier it gets. All right. Perfect. Right now, we are going to go to the phone lines. We have a caller ready for us this evening. Um, Amy in Orlando, Florida uh, is on the line. Good evening, Amy, and welcome to your time to shine. Oh, thank you so much. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm wonderful. And yourself? I am good. Thank you. What can I do for you this evening? I'm just wondering what's in store for this new year for me. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right. Uh, Amy, <laughs> let me tune in for just a moment here um, as I tune into your loved ones and guides to see what they have to say for you uh, for 2023. There's going to be a little moment of silence as I do that, and then I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay. Okay, Amy, <laughs> it's, it's really funny. All I'm hearing is hallelujah, hallelujah. And it's like, I can't get past it. <laughs> so, <laughs> the universe is hearing your prayers, right? They are hearing you and they want you to know that it is, that they're, you know, they're working with this and you have shifted something in your life. So they are singing your praises. They're like, all right, finally here, let's go. Let's do this. She's on board. So let's make it happen. So between you, you asking and then shifting in your life to be able to, to, to do this, to receive this, right? That's where this hallelujah, <laughs> that's where this hallelujah is coming from. <laughs> Um, Lovely. they're showing me awesome. that, <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty awesome too. Um, th they're showing me that, um, there's been some bumpy roads for you, um, uh, probably the last couple of years. And so 2023 is shifting for you. Um, it's like a restart, a reset they're showing me, um, I don't know where you are in numerology and I don't know if, if you ever play with numerology, but they're showing me like you're in a year one, right? You're starting over. 
um, things, it was like things started to shift for you at the, at kind of towards the end of 2022. And so now you're planting those seeds and they're starting to grow and you're starting to see the change. And they say it's going to be a really good year. Um, Love it. I feel I feel like there's a shift in your job, um, whether you are looking for a new job or maybe there's a promotion, but there is a shift um, that you've been hoping for, that you've been asking for. OK, so it's like, again, they're showing me you've planted those seeds and now they're starting to grow. So. It looks like there's like a new profession even for you. Like you're not just shifting jobs. You're actually going to shift a profession and go into something else. Are you looking to go into something else that you do for work? Yeah, yeah okay. definitely. Okay. Um, so they're showing me that that shift is happening. Um, They're showing me that it's probably going to be in this first half of the year, maybe even the first quarter of this year. So may, I, I'm feeling like March, April um, is is when this is going to take place. Um, okay. But continue down your path, continue down uh, this path of um, uh, what, what do they call that um, intentional. Um, it's escaping me, but with your intentions of moving forward towards the school, towards this new job, this new profession, right? Um, keep moving towards that because that's just going to help the process, okay? okay. If they're showing me that there's also a shift in where you're living. Um, oh. like maybe this job is going to take you a little farther away from where you live now. And so like, you're going to move closer, closer to it. Okay. Um, I don't feel like it's out of state or anything like that. It's just, it's just shifting into maybe a different city, a different town or county. Maybe, um, it's a slight shift, a slight move, but, um, it's going to bring you a lot of joy, this shift and this move. Okay. Um, they're showing me to um, this year. Um, you you love the outdoors. You like being outside and in nature. But there's like this heavy presence of of getting outdoors and getting into nature and letting that be uh, letting that be your hmm, what do I want to say your uh, your grounding right um, kind of your zen and so there's this big push for you to get outside and to move about is what they're saying, okay? I have been feeling that. Okay. It's like they're showing me you're getting out and, you, and you're hiking. It's like you have tennis shoes on and you're going through, you know, you're walking through trails and things like that. So. Um, you know, getting out and being a part of that. And it feels like you've been like stifled and stuffed up, like you've been in a, like in a stuffy old house kind of thing. Um, that's like the feeling yeah. I get. So getting yeah. out there and breathing in and opening, opening your lungs, opening your chest and just breathing in all of that beautiful um, groundedness that nature gives us. Okay. Um, that's really going to help keep you centered um, and keep you um, keep your attitude positive 
and your vibration higher. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're showing me that, um, they're showing me well, like they have this, they're like a cheerleader out and they're just like, they're cheering you on. And, um, you know, they said you're a really strong person, um, stronger than you think. And so stepping into that power and remembering who you are. Because they said sometimes you forget and they don't want you to forget. Okay. Feel that? Yeah. Um, there's this there's this feeling I get of of something being woven or inter intertwined. Um, I'm trying to understand what they're what they're showing me with this weaving and this intertwined. Um, you're, hmm. So what they're showing me is there there's somebody that you're very intertwined with, okay? that is that's weighing heavy with you right now and this situation is just getting heavier and so they say it's time to take a step back and take a look at that situation and evaluate it maybe it's time to step away for a while and then come back after it's readjusted a little bit. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. Um, because it's almost like they're getting under your skin or you're just, you're itching. Um, those are like the, the feelings and the sensations I'm getting. Um, like you're just wanting to move away from this for a while and they're saying that's okay right? Removing yourself from the situation is, is okay. It gives yourself that space to be able to breathe and to be able to think for a while, okay? So don't be afraid to just kind of step back. And it doesn't mean you can't come back and revisit it. It just means that you're honoring yourself and giving yourself a break, okay? I feel like my throat is um, is really heavy. It's like there's things that you want to say to this person and you're holding back. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Okay. There needs to have, there needs to be a conversation. Okay. Like, I feel like I'm choking on my, like, like I'm choking, like I have this huge lump in my throat. Um, so there's definitely some conversations that need to happen here. Okay. Okay. Um, when you have those conversations, make sure that you're mm -hmm. heart centered, make sure that you're in your heart rather than in your head. Does that make sense? so that you're able to speak from your heart rather than your head, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so they're kind of stepping back a little bit, um, meaning that, that they, they've giving you the messages that you're asking for. Um, 
Is there anything else you would like to know? Did you say something? It sounded like you blacked out. Oh, I'm just saying um, your loved ones and your guides have kind of stepped back a little bit, which means that they have okay. they've given you the messages that you're needing to know tonight, unless there's something else that you need to ask. Um, no, that's it, really. Okay. Well, thank you for calling in. It sounds like you are going to have an exciting 2023. amazing I really appreciate it you're very welcome have a wonderful night you too all right uh, next on the line we have Sabrina in Vancouver British Columbia Canada good evening Sabrina and welcome to your time to shine Good evening. How are you doing this evening? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? I'm not bad. Not bad. Good. What can I do for you this evening? I guess just to see if you can see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you are you just looking for a general reading? If anything's kind of changing or coming along or there's some kind of blockage or something not happening. Okay, so I think you cut out there for just a moment, Sabrina. So I got, you're looking to see if there's any kind of blockage or anything. Was there something specific that you were yeah. wanting to see if it was blocked? Just just blocked in life and it's ah okay okay um let me tune in here just for a minute and there's going to be a little moment of silence while i do that and i'll be right back okay Hmm. Okay, Sabrina. So what it feels like is that um, it feels like things are are on pause, um, essentially. And what they're showing me is that you're going through this growth period where things are shifting and changing for you. And so it's almost like you're in this kind of what they're showing me like a cocoon, right? With, and you're, you're getting ready to open up into that beautiful butterfly. And so that's where that place is, where it feels like everything is on pause. It's on hold or uh, maybe even slow motion. And so they're saying be patient because it's happening. It's moving. Um, they're showing me it's not really blocked per se. It might feel that way but it's just that things are kind of on a pause. And so what it's doing as you're sitting here on this pause, the universe is setting you up to be able to move forward again, okay? So it's almost like what they're showing me is like when you have a child, like a very young child, um, and they go through their growth spurts, right? When they go through a growth spurt, they get really tall and long and lean. And then when they're in that in that period of um, stabilization, right, then they almost kind of go the other direction. It feels like they fill out and they and they um, become, you know, uh, more substantial. And that's kind of where you're in. You're kind of in that period just before you have that growth spurt. OK. Um, and you're growing spiritually too. So as you, not only are you growing like 
things are moving for you in this human world, things are opening up for you in the spiritual realm as well. And so there's a lot going on, right? Really good stuff, but there's a lot going on. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does, does that make sense for you? Um, hopefully, yes. <laughs> okay. It, it's really hard to be in that pause, in that, in that area, because I've been there too. It, it's very hard to be in that space. It makes us feel very uncomfortable, right? And that, that, un, that uncomfortable place is just before we are getting ready to expand and grow. Okay, um, so okay, so you you say spiritually and physically, emotionally, things are going to happen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're you're starting to just open up. It's like, it's, um, it, you're, you're just starting to open up to a bunch of, you know, spiritual realms. And um, you'll notice that you'll be attracted to more things spiritually, right? Whether it may be you be attracted to music, different kind of music than you are used to listening to. Um, or maybe you start listening to tarot readers, right? But there's going to be these little shifts and these little changes, and you're going to feel directed. You're going to feel called to um, to participate in, and you're going to think, "Wow, that's that's something unusual. That's not something that I would normally do," right? Um, so these are all those little shifts that are coming. Okay, and I'm just wondering if you can sense anything. Uh, this uh, situation that's been going on now for just about Okay, Sabrina Okay, Sabrina, if you can hear me <laughs> um, why don't you reach out to me on my uh, Facebook page and we can t continue the conversation um, I think I might have lost you um, I want to thank you for calling in, and um, I hope you have a wonderful night. Uh, that does it for us. We're coming down to the last few seconds of our show. I want to say thank you for tuning in. Um, feel free to reach out to me on my Facebook pages of Julie Yeager Walker Medium or Your Time to Shine. And you can always reach me on my website at wingsofsoulswithjulie.com. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Continue re your receiving, and we'll see you next week.